Hey you guys, this is Roberta Peel from Oregon Trail Silver with uh, the last part to my acid etching. So this is how I go ahead and pull my silver out and what I do to actually clean it up, okay? It's not that hard. So I've had this thing going, just so you guys hear how it sounds. I've been listening to that buzzing for about the last half an hour. So anyhow, what I'm going to do is just take that off. You notice I'm wearing rubber gloves. Okay, there's a really good reason for it. You don't want this stuff on your hands. It'll stain. It's really gross. If you feel the need to lift your piece out at any point in time, never put metal in your ferric nitrate or ferric chloride. Okay, always use plastic ones or plastic tongs. These ones are um, it's some something from the baker's aisle. They're Wilton's, so I just kind of picked them up and thought, hey, that'll work. Um, another thing that I'll do um, every so often, I'll stop and I'll brush the bubbles off and such. And the, bl the brush itself, oops, don't drop it because it'll splash on you. You don't want this stuff in your eye, okay? You ever have salt water in your eye? Yeah, this is ten times worse. Anyhow, so I'll go in every so often and just brush all the nasty crap off. But at this point, I'm pretty sure that these are done. And I can tell just by leaning it into, into the light and checking to see how deep that it is. So what I'm going to do, this is baking soda and water, nothing else. Don't be, uh, you know, be pretty generous with the amount of baking soda that you use in here. There's really no actual measurement. Um, you notice I have everything on a paper plate as well. So I'm just going to put it in there. It's going to fizz up. Okay. And then usually what I do is um, peel the backing off. But just to show you how to clean it up. My Brillo pad that I started with. That's how we clean it up. So let's see if I can get this at least up close so you can see it. Oh, that turned out really pretty. Can you guys see it? I hope so. That turned out really nice. It's not super deep, but I don't want these ones terribly deep. If I wanted it deeper, I could have left it in for a lot longer. So, and for those of you guys who don't know, the baking soda neutralizes the acid. It's always good to have baking soda and water um, in your shop anyways for literally everything. But the Brillo pad will get off all the junk, it'll get off all the resist, it'll clean it up nicely. And for those of you guys who watched the last video, um, I did, after that third try, I did finally get that whole piece on. So I'm going to take it over the sink, rinse it off, peel the tape off. I know I look great today, don't I? Hopefully you don't have to see me, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And this feather turned out beautiful. Turned out really, really nice. It's got actually a fairly deep edge, a deeper edge than I thought that it was going to have, but it turned out really great. So anyhow, um, I hope that helps some of you guys out. Um, the resist itself will burn off too if you want to torch it, but the Brillo pad's easier. Anyhow, it'll clean it off and then you can go from there and do whatever you want to it. So I hope you guys uh, found these useful and um, happy creating. Bye!